طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد so this is the first video of a series of videos in which we are going to explain a a short concise book about which teaches us the uh, which teaches us some of the fiqh of Hajj but the link to the book has been mentioned in the description of the video and uh, <coughs> um, as for the topic that we are going to discuss in a particular video of the series or a particular video in this playlist the topic is uh, going to be mentioned or that text is going to be mentioned uh, in the description itself the text that the part of the text that is going to be explained along with the page number so that one can refer to the PDF while listening to this explanation um, before we begin into explaining this uh, <coughs> concise book which uh, has been named as concise Hajj guide um, in this video I would like to make a uh, forward to the uh, to the series of this, these videos and I'd like to make in this video <coughs> five points two of them are related to the book itself and uh, three of them are related to some of the um, technical uh, issues or some of the technical um, information that uh, we are going to deal with along uh, with along the series um, the first is that um, this book uh, the goal from this explanation is that to know the delil, the evidence for each uh, issue that has been mentioned in this book and uh, hence uh, mere, merely knowing these issues if that was the purpose we would have uh, then merely read, reading the book would have been enough but since we want to know the delil for each issue and since we want to assure ourselves uh, we uh, this is the goal for the dars that we, sh we would like to know the evidence the delil for each issue that has or each opinion that has been mentioned in this <coughs> book uh, the second point that I wanted to make is that in this book inshallah we will not be going out of the uh, opinions of the classical and contemporary senior scholars we would be avoiding fringe opinions and uh, hence it's uh, it is going to be inshallah highly uh, reliable <coughs> the third point which is now which is related to some of the technical uh, aspects of this uh, book is that uh, of course Hajj or the Nusuk is of three types Ifrad, Tamattu and Qiran and I haven't uh, really explained in this book what each one actually is uh, which is because I was I expect someone who is reading this book to already know that as he's going for Hajj so he might be having some sort of a background with that so, but uh, I've realized that it must be explained before we uh, get into the book. Ifrad is performing Hajj only, while Tamattu' and Qiran is performing Hajj and Umrah together. Um, the, the, the A'mal, the rites that one has to perform in Ifrad and Qiran are the same except that the one performing Qur'an needs to sacrifice an, uh, an animal. As for the Matto, uh, then it is actually a separate Umrah and a separate Hajj. So one first comes to Mecca, he gets done with his Umrah. Once he's done with his Umrah, he exits the Ihram, then he enters the state of Ihram again for the Hajj. Uh, so this is the Matto, in short. Uh, the details of the rights of all these three types will be mentioned uh, in during the series in the following videos inshallah <coughs> uh, point number four which is also a technical one is that uh, the evidence for any issue is or, or the, the ruling for any issue is deduced from four sources the first is of course the book of Allah, Quran. 
The second is the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is known to everyone. The third, however, is consensus, ijma'a. Ijma'a, consensus means that it means the, the agreement of all the scholars on a particular issue. And this is a valid source for to deduce the hukum of any uh, issue, the ruling of any issue, uh, which is going to be mentioned quite often during the explanation, inshallah. And the uh, fourth is qiyas, which is analogy, and uh, which means actually that uh, if there is something whose ruling has been mentioned in the, in the texts, in the Quran and Sunnah, and there is another thing which is similar to it, but which hasn't been mentioned in the texts. So we compare both, and when we find out that the purpose or the wisdom behind prohibition of this particular thing, for example, is the same, or that same purpose or same wisdom, same reason also exists in this, in, in Y, so since X is haram, so will Y be haram. This is Qiyas, analogy. But these are the four things, the four sources uh, through which we deduce the rulings of, or for usul, for fundamentals, or for foundations through which we deduce the rulings of different issues. And the fifth and the last point of this video is that <coughs> the ahkam or the of, of Hajj will be divided into three. Uh, the rights of the Hajj are either Rukun or Wajib or Sunnah. Rukun is something without which the Hajj is invalid. It is Batal, Null, Void. Um, wajib is something which is obligatory. One must perform it, but, but if he's unable to do so, he will be excused. If he does not do so out of ignorance or, uh, for example, out of because he forgot, he will have to compensate for it by s uh, sacrificing an animal. And uh, if he do does so intentionally, he will be sinful for that. However, his hajj will be sahih. Unlike the rukun, which if it is left out, the hajj will become null and void. So wajib is something, if you leave it out, even if it is intentionally, he will be sinful for that, but the hajj will be sahih. The hajj will be valid and correct. And the third is sunnah. Sunnah means, by sunnah we mean recommended things. Not necessarily, uh, or not necessarily uh, something which uh, has been performed by the Prophet ﷺ, but something which is recommended. We can just call it mustahab. These are the three types of rights uh, of Hajj that will be mentioned. We expect the listener to make a list of, <coughs> uh, make a list and ma make three columns in that list Arkan, Wajibat, and Sunan. R rukun, Wajib, and Sunnah. And start mentioning those things which are Arkan, those which are Wajibat, and those which are Sunnah as he listens to these uh, videos. Uh, so because we are going to mention these rites in the in the order they are performed during the Hajj, and uh, uh, we are not going to mention them as a list of arkan and wajibat and sunnas. This we want the listener to do himself as a homework. For, uh, I, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to benefit the listeners from these uh, videos, and uh, uh, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to grant us sincerity in making these videos uh, and remember everyone in order to be a good Muslim in order to perform an ibadah well you must be a good learner you must be a good student so this is something that one needs to get himself into a habit of which is to memorize write down things note down things Barakallahu feekum wa sallallahu sallam ala nabina muhammad wa ala